Yo, it's Kim, and last time we talked about why Panasonic's full-frame camera matters. Today we're going to talk about why it doesn't really. Number one is that it can be overrated. Yes, you get all the benefits that I talked about in the last video, you get more color depth, you get more fidelity, but let's face it, we're camera nerds and that's why we notice these things. Grab any random dude off the street and ask him to pick which picture was taken with a Micro Four Thirds camera or full frame camera, he's picking the one with the hotter girl in it or guy. But I think this is really rampant in photography and videography and I'm super guilty of this too, but there's a lot of comparing spec sheets and not enough emphasis on getting the shot and evoking the right emotions at the right time. In the end, your clients and your friends are going to notice this a lot more than if your picture or your video had more noise. So yes, image quality matters, and if you're a pro and you need absolute image quality, then go full frame or even medium format. But you should also know that you don't need the best equipment to take the best pictures and videos. Number two, full frame lenses are heavy as shit. The thing with bigger sensors is that they also need bigger glass. And with greater glass comes greater responsibility. I mean, wait, lots of professionals have actually given up their full frame cameras in favor of micro four thirds to save their back and generally have a good time shooting, especially if you're doing full day shoots. So if you're all muscled up and ready to carry all that glass around with you all day, then by all means go for a full frame camera. But for those of you that want to have a good time and aren't as Hulk as Hulk himself, do yourself a favor and get yourself a micro four thirds camera. Lastly is size. And you're probably thinking what a cop out. You should have mentioned this with number two, but it's not what you're thinking. What I mean by size is not the size that you're actually carrying around and packing around with you, but the size that other people perceive. So I mentioned earlier that a lot of pros have left full frame to go with micro four thirds. And one reason that keeps popping up is because they're able to get away without being noticed. Whether it's because they don't have permits to shoot in a particular place or because they're taking candids and don't want their subjects to notice, full frame cameras and their glass are massive and you're gonna get noticed for better or for worse. So will Panasonic's full frame camera matter? For this year and maybe the next couple of years, maybe not. It's gonna be a first gen product and it's not gonna be as refined as its competitors and it doesn't even have a lens lineup yet. So we'll have to wait and see. Also, there's more cost effective options at the moment like the Sony a7 III and you aren't getting cinema camera level quality, but if you aren't working for serious production houses, this should hardly matter to you. On top of that, Micro Four Thirds cameras haven't magically degraded since Panasonic leaked all these specs for their full frame camera. Micro Four Thirds is alive and well and one of the deepest mirrorless systems around and will always have a unique set of advantages over full frame cameras. Those are the three reasons I think Panasonic's full frame camera doesn't really matter and why you shouldn't be discouraged about your current gear. Always remember it's usually about having the right gear for the right job and more importantly, having the smarts and the creativity to bring those images to life.